Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help and now this is new Java FX video tutorial for you and guys in this video tutorial we will learn how to use phone selector in Java FX application. It's very simple, I will explain you here. Let's get started. Guys you can see on my screen the phone selector window is just open. You can see that this is the ready made setup for uh, this is ready made control to use the font selector for, for uh, your project so somewhere if you have a need of a font selection so you can use this control in your project it's very simple and very convenient you can see we have a lots of fonts that ready made fonts like and you have a uh, style bold italic and here you can select the size as well okay and uh, once you click here so the selected font style and size will be get with the help of some useful method of a class so i will show you everything here okay now i'm going inside the netbeans uh, ide where i have uh, prepared this sample example for you so i will show you here so now uh, first i will show you what we have in the fxml file so this is very simple and straightforward fxml file so let me open this first this is the fxml file guys and we have uh, one uh, button on this uh, stage on this uh, anchor pan and uh, here we have uh, uh, hand handled the button click action you can see uh, this is the method name this is the action handler for this button click okay and uh, now I'm coming here on the main idea how to use it so first of all uh, you guys uh, see on the left hand side in this project uh, uh, tab under this projects tab we have this fxml based project okay so we have one fxml controller file and the uh, the file which has a start method so guys uh, first of all you need a one control fx jar file if you have seen my previous videos on controls fx so you can get the link from that video as well also i have given the link of that jar file so you can download that control fx jar from uh, that link so you can see i have added in the uh, libraries this is the control fx jar file 8.40 okay so you have to add this here after that you can uh, create one fxml based project and uh, this is uh, the button handler action method we have uh, done the coding so this is the simple coding few lines of code so self explanatory and uh, you can use it so guys uh, i'm using the one of the class to launch the font selector dialog box this is the class name font selector dialog okay which is coming from the control fx so here simply uh, we have created the instance of a phone selector dialog with the help of new keyword and after that uh, we have uh, used some useful method which are inside the phone selector dialog class set title to set the title on the top of that dialog box okay and after that you have used the dialog in your project so somewhere you they need in that case you need to get whatever the selected font by the user uh, what is the size selected by the user and what is the name of the font and what is the family of the font selected by the user so all these things you can get with the help of these four lines these are very uh, simple so you have to simply create a response object reference of optional class and uh, here we are using font as a generic and uh, then you have to use this dialog object and you have to call the method show and wait so this uh, method calling will display your uh, phone selector dialog on the screen and uh, when you perform any selection on that dialog so all the response will be collected here in this reference variable so this reference variable will fetch all the details that you have selected on the font selector dialog okay now you can see in these three lines so i have used uh, the this reference variable response dot get so this is uh, returning the font object and uh, you can call the get family 
to extract the family font family that you have selected in the font selector dialog so this will print the font family on the console and uh, uh, at line number 38 we are fetching the selected font name in a similar way we have fetched the get size uh, uh, we are fetching the size of the font that we have selected on the font selector okay so these three will print family font family font name and font size that we have selected on the font selector dialog okay guys it's very simple so I will run this thing one more time so I have done a small change I will take a clean build one more time after finishing this build I will run and I will show you okay it's done and now I'm going to launch this here we go and uh, this is the stage and I'm going to click here on this button this is the button and this is the font selector dialog box is open now you can see the title that we have set in the code uh, okay and uh, this is the model window you cannot interact with the parent until you close this or uh, you have done selection on this so I'm selecting uh, this uh, font and uh, so the style will be available if uh, that font has some styles okay so now I'm selecting Vardana and here I, I'm going to select bold italic okay and I'm going to select the size 48 now I will click on this ok and then we will see the font name and uh, font family and the size on the console now guys you can see so I have selected this uh, font name and uh, Vardana bold italic the style we have selected and the size that we have selected on the uh, font selector so in this way you can uh, use the phone selector on uh, your project somewhere i hope you guys uh, have clear understanding now on using the phone selector and uh, if you found this video useful so guys please uh, like this video and, uh, and subscribe our channel and you can press the bell icon so you will uh, get the latest video updates on time so guys for now thanks for watching cool it help